Hello everyone, welcome back to Empyreon Galactic Survival Reforged in version 1.9. In today's episode, we're gonna go return to Kennex Station. Um, I set down a iron auto miner down here, on this node right here. And yeah, so we're gonna go to Kennex Station and we are going to... I don't know what we're gonna do, we're gonna see where the mission takes us. And no, I didn't get to mine out the asteroids. I got so busy the other day. It's just I know, I'm not finding the time in order to get the resources I need. So not this episode, but next episode is probably going to be mining episode. So that we can get... Um, so we can get the ore we need to bring in the animal. And then we can really have some fun. We can go out there and take out some of those Xerox sh ships and whatnot. Isn't that nebula gorgeous, by the way, as we're coasting here? I think it looks gorgeous. Why are they going to put Connect Station way out there? I mean, we could stop by this copper and mine it out because it's closer. And then we can mine that Prometheum out. Yeah, let's do that as we're headed to Connect Kinect Station just to get some... Of the resources I need to um, build stuff. Because we lost a lot of stuff in that one episode. And we're just trying to get the loot back. I'm coming up on the copper ash right here in a second. Got a fresh cup of coffee. Good to go. Yeah, and on a side note, my wife said I'm not allowed to make videos on Wednesday anymore. She wants to take the time off because she took the day off of work on Wednesdays to um, spend time with me. Which I don't blame her. I actually need a break in the middle of the week. Alright, let's Let's mine this asteroid out real quick. Make sure there's no bad guys around me. Alright. We gotta be in the other pilot seat. Alright, so now we're in the other pilot seat. Where is the asteroid at? Let's eat it up. We need the copper anyways to make ammunition. But while I'm rendering out this video and whatnot, I'm going to do some of the grind work. That you guys are seeing right now. I'm probably going to fly around and mine out tons of resources. Because it gets get kind of laggy when I'm rendering videos out. We want copper here. Get all the coppery goodness. Yeah, this laser drill just eats through this asteroid. Yeah, it eats through the asteroid. I mean, I think we got enough crushed stone to make enough... Um carbon substrate for the animal now it's just a matter of um getting her set up and whatnot because we're gonna need trees and we lost the 2,000 trees that we had in the um there we go you guys can see a little bit better now um yeah I love this I love this ship this ship is amazing any more copper around here or is this just crushed stone I'm getting now? Oh no, there's a big chunk of copper up here on top. I 
I say a big chunk and it's like a little chunk. It's going through all the way. Mine out the copper. Mine out the copper. I mean, we can grab Crush Stone if we need Crush Stone. How are we doing on Harvest Bay 1, by the way? Yeah, it's not full yet. We'll grab a little stone while we're here and then we'll he head off to the Prometheum Mine. This is stuff that's got to be done, everyone. Sorry. <laughs> we just got to take a little bit of time to relax. And do a little bit of the looting. We've been doing a lot of looting and mining. Or a lot of looting and stuff. So it's just nice to take a break. And just relax a little bit. And just fly around. Um. Canuck Station is. Um. Where's Canuck Station now? <laughs> I lost it that way all right make sure that copper asteroid got rid yeah we got rid of the icon it's the cool thing about asteroids they come back every three hours if you have regenerative POIs turned on Going for Kennick Station, by the way, if you're wondering. We'll start the, um, the quest. I think it wants to send us somewhere else after this. I don't know if we'll have time for that. But like I said, we'll go over here to Kennick Station, see what they say, see where they're going to send us. If they're going to send us into another galaxy, then, I mean, I guess we can go over there and look. Prometheum Asteroid is just calling my name, though. Yeah, we're gonna mine this Prometheum out, because I need it. I need it to make fusion cells. And the auto miner that I do have put down on um, Prometheum. I'm glad there's no collision damage. <laughs> yeah, I wonder when they're going to do a new update. I'm hoping they're going to take their sweet time on it. And give us a proper update. Maybe more POIs, more diverse content. I know, um... Vermillion is working on a um, Reforged Eden 2. Spanj did a video on it the other day and was it would look pretty cool. I don't know about how I like the new weapons, but I mean, they're pretty cool, I guess, you know? If you want different types of weapons to go against POIs, but how hard are the POIs going to get once he implements Reforged Eden 2? I mean, they're pretty hard right this second with, you know, with uh the abandoned i want to say the abandoned bunker is really hard we might do that one in the upcoming episodes too just to get it out of the way and i'll show you how to um get around and show you where all the tips and tricks are on that one i mean there's a way you can core it and not have to fight anything but that's just boring i will show that eventually if i if i feel the need that it needs to be shown but yeah, we're just gonna chill out here today. Grab some rock here. How much rock do we have now? Man, we got a couple stacks. Any more blue around here? Nah, that's 
not seeing any more blue. Take a little bit more crushed stone with us and then that'll be it. Grab some more crushed stone because we're going to need it. Yeah, there's two ships I'm thinking about bringing in. The animal. Um, Canic Station is that away. Map. We've already grabbed that deposit. All right, off to Canic Station. Let's see. Kenneth comms chief requesting permission to land. You don't need to ask for permission to dock. Kid, I've already cleared a bay for you to land. Assigned bay. Is it on the other side that I gotta go in? I'm confused now. <laughs> I think it's this side that I gotta land on. Right, yeah, do you have access to the Kinect Station systems now that you are integrated? Not full access as I would draw attention from Sigma, but I can observe in most active active data in the station. I also have full access to the observation equipment on all Polaris safe satellites. Well, I wasn't done reading that. No, PDA. You are all right. Let's go back a notch. Land, land at the assigned bay. Okay, we landed at the assigned bay. Me with cheap comms. Was that all about Ida? Journey book, solo. Really, PDA log. Oh, here we go. Um, can I help you? My memory is a little fuzzy. Okay, hold on. Let's just go down here. We're all the way at the bottom somewhere. You don't need to ask permission to dock yet. I've already cleared the, a bay for you to land. Ida, do you have access to kinetic station systems now that you're integrated into the comms relay? Not full access as though that would draw attention from Sigma. But I can observe most active data, active data in the station. I also have full access to the observation equipment on the Polaris satellite in the system. And soon the entire quadrant commander. I will add the relevant details on my new systems to your PDA when you're done meeting with the comms chief. Alright. So we got to read that. So, comms chief. Hey, you're not the comms chief, I know this. I want to buy from you. You have two. You have two, okay. Hold on, the animal doesn't take... No, I guess the animal doesn't take upgrade kits. I do know a ship that does, though, that we're bringing in relatively soon. This one. Two out of eleven. Alright, so we gotta go up. We'll talk to this guy real quick. Let's see if we can't buy some more laser rifle upgrade kits from him. Well, since we did that, we need two auto miners. Do we have auto miners on the ship? No. Do 
I'd like to buy it from you, buddy. Two auto miners. Thank you. Throw that in the ship for now. Alright, to the comms, chief. Where's the comms chief at? I'm lost. That's Kennick Station. Where's the elevator at? That I need to take. Alright, here it is, right here. Or is this the comms chief? No, he's not the comms chief. Comms chief is upstairs. I can turn the jetpack off for a second. Go all the way up to comms chief. I think he's up here. Yeah, the comms chief. Alright, let's see here. What's he got to say for himself? Comms chief Mason. There you are, kid. You did it, a bloody miracle. Not only did you fight off the bunch of pirates, you fixed the broken relay in, at no cost with those inefficiency on top. If you want a full-time job instead of contract work, you can come to me. I'll set you up with a top-paying comm work throughout the system. Thanks, Chief. I appreciate it, but I'm but I have a job by Mark already. I have a job already. Eh, that's too bad. I was looking forward to a uh, comp compliment work com competent worker. I suppose you all want your pay. I've got it right here, with a couple of bonuses on top for the initial maintenance job, a bonus for dealing with those pirates. And another bonus for fixing the dang thing afterwards without incurring any repair costs. The last one netted me a big bonus too since it saved the company tens of thousands of optometrics. We, we've had trouble with corruption from one of our ma messengers so I've cr cash. That is fine with you, right? We had trouble with corporation from cooperation, corporation from some of the messengers. So I've got cash. That fine with you, right? I can authorize a transfer, but I don't want Polsack snipping up my looking for a dodgy payout. Yeah, cash is fine. All right, there you your pay. Make sure you go, you count it. And confirm it's all there for the security records. Payment received. 40,000 credits, huh? Alright. Well, job's done. You know what, where to find me if you're looking for a part-time job. Now go get. Thanks, Chief. You helped me out, too. My friend will get to live another day thanks to you. I guess your people depend on you, too. You're right, kid. You, too. Chapter 5, Off World Grave, which we're not going to get to in this episode, but we'll read this real quick. The loss of IDA was narrowly avoided with the transfer of her core into the Polaris communication relay that grants her access to the system's communication and surveillance system. Avoiding this century of security, security? Of Sigma, you managed to gain access to tactical scans of a massive crash ship on the nearby moon. Within the torn and sh shredded remains of the lost ship lies another potential clue to the location of the remaining UCH fleet from a source independent of Polaris. IDA, I see a strange readout on my heads of display. Is that? It's nothing to worry about, Commander. Let me go back to the PDA, because I really want to read this stuff for you guys. Journey book. No, MPDPD. Solo missions. Why does it keep clicking off? The UCH fleet was badly... Badly routed by the zip... Badly rooted. I can't read that fast, guys. I'm sorry. 
It keeps changing messages. Among the transmissions, I decided a frequency hidden in metadata on the relays. Final transmission. Great, so now we are dealing with pirates and something else. I can't read it real quick. It's not, it's not a dark enough background. I prefer to turn monitoring rather than snooping, Commander. As it happens, there is another matter that I thought, I thought, I, that, oh, whatever. I was able to retrieve the surveillance images on several planets and moons in this system. The most relevant of which show the remains of a large ship on the far side of the moon. If there are any logs as to where the remaining ships and fleet were able to escape to, there will be on the MSI. Looks like another chase to chance to find the trail of the ECH fleet. Hopefully this one will pay off. Alright, so it's done doing missions and whatnot, so now we can actually read the log here. How did we do it before? The ECH fleet was badly routed, routed by the Xerax over the planet. Routed? Routed by the planet Xerax fleet over the planet, but what became of the rest of the fleet? Where did it fall, and who holds dominance over the le over the dead? Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. The MSI didn't crash somewhere on the moon of the stuttering planet. Once you reach the moon surface, IDA will should be able to pinpoint the location of the crash. All right. Just noticed my air was down. Thanks for the air, guys. Alright, so we were going. We we're going to turn off our jetpack because it's just a pain in the neck to get down the elevator without it. Alright, I think we parked out here. Yeah. Alright. We're back in our ship here. Let's go do some mining. I mean, so what I'm getting from Ida is there. There's a crash shuttle on the moon called the MS Titan. You know what? I lost the solar cells that I bought. You want to go over there and buy some more? I mean, let's get these asteroids thing. Let's get these asteroids done. Hold, hold on, there's some asteroids behind us. There's a copper asteroid that way. We'll fly over here to the copper asteroid where I take a drink. And a drink of coffee. <laughs> so basically what the story is trying to tell us is that the fleet broke up. The crash MS Titan has records on the moon. Hopefully. I'm going to ruin it for you. If we get there in the next episode. Because I think that's a lengthy re reading thing. On the moon. So I'm going to want time to, to be able to do it. Without having like three or four parts of. Um, yeah three or four part videos. Just showing the MS Titan. So we're going to finish off the video. With a little bit of mining. And grab all the copper that we can here. And then I'm going to need to go back to base. Pick up the Atheon with the um, wood chopper on it.
You know what I should have done? I should have put the wood, the inventory into the wood chopper since it didn't get damaged. I panicked basically. Nine minute countdown kind of suck. <laughs> Come on, give me all that juicy copper. There we go. Give it all to me. Well, this asteroid is just giving up tons of copper. That's supposed to mine out the entire asteroid. Well, the copper, yes, but not the whole rock. Somebody said they don't regenerate if you mine the whole entire stone out. I don't know if that's true or not. I've done it once or twice, and they came back automatically, so... I'm gonna say that, um... They do spawn back even if you take the whole entire asteroid with you. You know, the crushed stone and whatnot that you're getting from the asteroid. All right, to the next asteroid. All right, so we have Storm's base and we have a Silicon Asteroid over there. Let's go for the Silicon Asteroid in front of us. The one that's 15 meters away. All right, so we have Prometheum. We have magnesium. We're really shy on titanium though. We only picked up 873 titanium from the auto miner. Let me just coast through space here while I'm relaxing here. I mean, we could go back to the base and start working on the, um, <laughs> on the garden some more, but I need, I need trees and cobalt. How much cobalt do we have? 4,000, 8,150. I mean, that's a good amount. We might be able to do some gardening in the next episode. I'll get the grow plots built up and then we'll do a building episode. I think that'll work. We'll go to the MS Titan in the next episode to the moon so we can check out the MS Titan for everyone. But yeah, we just got to get over here, get the silicon asteroid, get the iron asteroid, get that other silicon asteroid. And then if we have time, after getting all these asteroids, I want to go over to the Zocosium in the restroom and pick some of that up. We're approaching the silicon asteroid. Make sure I take it off the heads up display. So we know we've been here before. Alright, give me all your goody silicon here, asteroid.
Hmm, well this asteroid is netting us some silicon, not a bunch. Oh yeah, there's still ch chunks of silicon here to have. silicon to be had around here. Let's look down here on the bottom here. I don't see any more silicon. I think this asteroid is done. Just make sure we're working our way around the mount or around the asteroid here. That's the other side of the asteroid. Alright, so the next closest one is on the other side of this planet. See, there's one back here somewhere. Or is that Canex Station? That's Canex Station showing up. Alright. Circle back around. But yeah. I'll do a little bit more mining here. Look at that sun. Isn't it gorgeous? With the nebulas. Planet to our right. Got a lot to do, so a little time. This video is getting out late. I'm sorry. I, I do pre apologize. It just it can't be helped. I needed to sleep, and my wife let me sleep as long as she could. Sleep, eat, and play on computer, and do daddy stuff. My um, daughter makes strawberry cake today, and it's delicious, by the way. If you're wondering what delicious goodies she had. She did pretty good. She's getting better at baking, for sure. And it's a parent's job to make sure your kids know how to eat and know how to cook for themselves. The vital ingredient. Have we hit this cobalt last right up? I wonder if it's respawned by now. We'll find out here in a second. No, it hasn't responded yet. We're gonna go to this iron, then to the silicon, and then to that iron way out there. <laughs> And then I'm going to warp to the restroom in Dekozy and pick them up. Pick the ore up and then um, in the next episode we'll go check out the MS Titan. And see where that quest chain takes us. I got the hiccups. Low hiccups. All right, 
grab this iron here real quick. Because we need blocks for the base. This iron ash was got a lot of iron on it. Nice. All this an omen. Six 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 iron. Just popped up in the right hand corner or left hand corner. <laughs> We're going to be in trouble. There's trouble afoot. Yeah, this is, this is well needed work that we needed to do to get back all the resources that we lost in the, um, in the previous episode. And we'll crunch some rock here. How are we doing on inventory room? We have, sword by name. So we have two stacks and a bit of iron, two stacks and a bit of cobalt, a stack and a bit of silicon. Two stacks and a bit of copper and one stack and a, almost two stacks of promethium. Which isn't bad. I mean, that's pretty good. Just from the short time that we've been out here mining. Yeah, I did have some from the previous episode where we did a little bit of mining too. Alright. Storm's base is that way. Iron's that way. Sathian is that way, and so, so is solar cells. Could have sworn we had a silicon close to us. Yeah, right up here. Gamma. We got two more asteroids to do and then we'll call the video and then I'll warp over to um the safety and whatnot we'll do that first thing in the next episode and then we'll come back do the well no we'll do the MS Titan in the next episode I'll go over off camera and pick up the um um the cozy in the restroom and see I'm gonna take the Atheon over there it's just easier to get out from the auto miners the Pelatus is a great ship, don't get me wrong. But man, it takes forever to get out of the ship and then get back into the ship. The Atheon is just the doors right there. You go down the ladder, you turn to the left, and or you, you go down the elevator, you turn to the left, and you're out. And we're all, what I'm going to be doing is collecting the auto miners. They got to be full by now. We'll see when we bring you back in the next episode how much um, the cozy in the restroom I was able to bring home. I'm hoping like three or four stacks. If we can bring three or four more stacks back, plus load up the factory for all the stuff we need for the animal and the um, get rack 2.0. Wait until you see the get wrecked 1.0. <laughs> She's got guns on her. I, I'm just going to say that now. She's got guns on her. Alright. I think this is the last of the silicon here. I don't see any more, it's just crushed stone now. I mean, we can eat through the asteroid and see if there's any silicon hiding. You 
Yeah, if I'm just getting crushed down. All right, I'm gonna fly out to the iron mine. Um, which is this way. Make sure we knock that silicon off there. So we have iron left. Let's go out here and grab the iron, and then that's what we'll call the video, everyone. I mean, pretty productive. I'm gonna jump over there, grab the safety and the solar cells and whatnot if I can afford them. We don't even have anything in here to sell, to tell you the truth. Hmm. We need stuff to sell. We might go find a depot or whatnot to get some bridges. So we can sell the bridges. Look at that sunrise. That's pretty cool. I like their backdrops. You can't fly to the sun, unfortunately. You could just fly into space uh, um, for days. We're almost to the asteroid. And this would be the last asteroid that we munch up. And then, like I said, I'm going to take the, I'm going to go back and get the AT on. And then I'm going to warp around the system, gathering the Satium, the, um, Eresium and Dacosium. I might even just throw them, the Dacosium and Eresium just straight into the factory. Because I think we have everything we need to make the two auto miners that I have on me. All right, Iron Asteroid. Whoops. Turn the light on so you guys can see a little better. Make sure it's on. This needed to be done, everyone. need to do with the Atheon. I need to go down to the planet and farm up trees in order to make ammunition for it. Because I don't have any trees back at base. I'll put some more iron right here. Give me the iron. I mean, we're going to be going, coming out of this with lots of ore. Maybe I'll bring you guys with me in. To the other auto miners. Nah, I guess I could do that off camera. It's just going to be me flying over there, jumping out. Grabbing the ore, the ore, <coughs> excuse me, grabbing the ore and um, coming back to base with it and dropping it off. Don't think there's any more iron left on here. Let's mark that one off our to-do list here. And this is where I'm going to call this video. I'm going to fly back to base. I'm going to get the Atheon and we're going to, I'm going to go down to the planet, um, gather up some trees and then... Make ammunition for the Atheon, and then I'm going to take off and go grab the Dacosi Mineration. But this is where I'm going to call this video, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you storm that like button. And if you're new here, subscribe for more daily videos. Okay, everyone. Take care, and bye-bye.